Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here with the STR9MCC follow-up. Message Nightwood Guns about it hitting way, way high. And realized, well, that's the way it came, but I could actually bottom out the rear sight a little bit more. It was elevation and windage adjustable uh, with different screws. For me, and I've done five different types of ammo, guys. Seven yards, put in another very good shooter's uh, hands. And... Um, even 7 and 10 yards, tried it with 124 and 115 in different makes. And he was holding here at 10 yards. There's his two touching up here. I was doing that on other targets. I filmed a separate video to send a Stoker. And mine are up there and there. He actually hitting the wood on top at 7 yards. It is really, really high. And it was also throwing him left the way it came. and actually wasn't centered in the rear. I've adjusted the windage now. And it seems like maybe it's not throwing them as high. I want to thank Federal for sponsoring my videos. Uh, we got mostly 115 in it now, but I I've already been using the 124 last six rounds of this first mag 124. Uh, a few rounds on the target on the right. I'll go for here so we can see if it's still hitting way, way, way high. All right, I'll scoot over a little bit. Target on the right. Okay, T box. I'll do a six o'clock hold. I was hoping to get a combat hold once I bottom out. I'll do six o'clock. At the top of his nose. Okay, I am not the best group shooter. I'm gonna walk it. You guys are gonna see how high this is still hitting. And it was hitting uh, left as well, which I've now adjusted. Uh, okay, so four, way high. I am aiming six o'clock here. One, two, that's like two and a half, three inches still high. And then maybe one that wasn't, or was that a bad trigger press and I went low left with that one? Probably more likely. But I am not happy about that hitting high. And these are the 115s before I get to the 124s. So that should be even hitting 124s. We're going to be a hit a little higher, right? This should not be hitting that high. A micro compact is meant for 7 and 10 yards where I've been doing the accuracy testing so far. So let me do a couple more on the guy's uh, head on the left so we can compare them. I think now those look high right. We're going to walk that too, and then I'm going to rock and roll with the rest of the rounds I got loaded up in the magazines. Okay, if I'm aiming here, and now it's here and here. So uh, that screw for windage, I don't know if that's on or not. I mean, mechanically, sometimes it puts touching. Uh, but if I'm 6 o'clock hold here, it shouldn't be, you know, split the difference even way up there. Still way, way high, and I have tested it, and I put in the hands. There are two older guys here that really can shoot, one a nom vet, but they can really shoot. I mean, shooting at 15 yards, and they're, you know, shooting 100 on B6s, okay? So, uh, they were doing the, the same thing. I'll just rock and roll a little bit. At least I'm getting functioning out of this bad guy. Where does some purple paint now? I know I can't do the lipsticks as sexy as a... Ava Flannel does, uh, you know, with federal ammunition. We got the red with the 115s. Now I'm using 124s at the bottom of this magazine. I'm just going to rock a little bit. All right, one through a little high left. The other is not as bad with the 124. Interesting. I don't know if the barrel, the slide fitment is still breaking in. I got to probably have about now at this point 75, 80 rounds through. All right, and this is a red lipstick rounds there. Again, look at Eva Flannel's video. Hopefully, she'll start uh, liking some of my stuff as well. Okay, so good photo ammo here. And we got locked back. Functioning-wise, it's been good. Again, I cleaned and lubed it first. I hand-wrecked the slide 100, 150 times first. I preloaded magazines. I did everything that you're supposed to with a Turkish European heavy sprung type of gun that's made for 124 grain NATO. 
Um, okay, so when I was going slow fire, that was one of them, and at least three of them were here. And yet, I should not, you guys have seen me shoot. Okay, I shouldn't be getting up there when I'm going for upper thoracic here. Okay, that's just, it's abnormal. So it's like, I don't know if this is barrel, the frame fitment is off. The only other time I had a problem with was the CZ that was broken. The the bushing was messed up. The, the CZ said my friend's pistol was absolutely messed up. Okay, and they had to like deep replace, do stuff for him. Um, those are way high. Obviously, if I'm going more towards down here, these are way, way high. I shouldn't be shooting them in the head. That's not me, guys. You know I'm a better shooter than that. Even with micros, compare it to, you know, Shield Plus and, and, and uh, Max 9 videos I've done in the past. So, Stoger, send me another one. Uh, it's only a sample size of one. But I'm not happy with it coming out of the box hitting so high and left. And it, was, it wasn't it was centered even the white little dots were clear. These guys trust me. Okay, we're clear. So there's a big one on the top. I didn't realize it was for elevation. So it's bottom out as much as it would bottom out. There's also these three lines. I am clear. These three lines here, it actually was made to shoot a little left the way that it came. And I had to shoot it, pull it a little right of... A little right of center with those three dots or those lines there can you see the lines it's not really focusing and the top screw it's bottom down Stoger just so you can see I got that bottom all the way down and it's still hitting way way high Stoger I'll give you a chance if you send me a new one um, or you know repair this get it sent back or something it's functioning but the magazine loading problem and hitting three, three and a half inches high in a very good shooter's hands. And it was, it was high left. The, the rear sight just totally wasn't set. And now even locked down. Today, I expected to hit a little low, bring it a tad up and make it a combat hold instead of a six clock hold. There's your range review, the Stoker STR9MC. Bring you guys that stuff. And if they do make it right, if they do manage to fix it, I will let you know. Thank you, everybody. Get down in the comments, please. And give me some support. Cheers. Bye.